I'm making a physical video player. Um, part of which is to figure out how to design a virtual environment full of tools that you could use to make something and also how to organize the, something in physical space. So we're just going to make my current YouTube feed accessible uh, via objects in physical space. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's what I'm doing. You can hear the rain sprinkling on the roof. I wonder if that's part of the player. I'm gonna go with yes, environmental sound. Hi. Yeah. How are you? Good. You're making platforms big with art. I'm making a video player. <laughs> I'm trying to figure oh, out cool. how to make the room into a player so that That's like cool. you can go around and touch physical objects yeah, and then nice. videos so play. Cool. For some reason, one of these chains is going to be a video. Also because it's awesome looking. Yeah. <laughs> this is part of my room theme that I applied using my fancy HTML skills. <laughs> my internet room. CSS class. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Oh my god, that's incredible. Oh, I need to make an object for every video in here. So let's just start making them. I'm making a video player in the room that will be computer activated by me. <laughs> I'm gonna make an object for every one of my videos on YouTube and then I'm gonna arrange them in this room somehow so that when you walk around and you pick up something, they'll have like a little ID on it and I can and then hand you the phone and I'll, it'll be computer activated because it'll be me searched. <laughs> I like it. Because I was like, well, I want to build this vibe thing, but like the vibe isn't working, and like it's a lot, so I'm just gonna make it in physical space and see if it works. That then... makes sense. Yeah, it's research, not shipping a product. Yeah, like, I'm just like, I, I'm too frustrated by the technology. I'm gonna make everything out of paper, and I can just be the computer myself. <laughs> I was originally just gonna follow people around and search for the video. But Glenn had the idea of using QR codes, so I guess I will try that, even though I don't like QR codes. Whatever. It's a prototype. Yeah. So I guess the way this is going to work is that you'll use, pulls up the thing, but because they're spherical videos, it has to be played in the YouTube player. So go to the next screen using that arrow, and then you'll be able to play the video. Maybe, if the internet ever worked. Okay. Guess that will be the way.